if you've been following me on this channel you definitely know that i'm a capture one i really enjoy using this software a lot and today's player is going to focus more on the new update the latest update and um, capture one has introduced to their uh, recent release hey what's up youtube welcome to my channel and it's mr uncle here once again today we are meeting the afro version of mr uncle let me know your thoughts about this new look and without much ado let's get into it so capture one made an update somewhere this year around may 20th 2025 um, where they released an update of yeah, software, which I'm sure if you've been following the news in this space, uh, you may have heard of it. Finding yourself in this space, um, evolution is something which is inevitable, and uh, I will entreat each and every creative to actually um, update themselves with a new development coming in day by day. So, Kachuan has introduced a new feature in their latest um, update, which is the Retouch Tab 2. This update was made somewhere um i think um two or three months ago i've had it um, and i've been trying it out on several images and seeing how best i can incorporate it in my workflow the main reason why i'm now making this video is to give you the best review and the best um, tutorial for the latest updates possible so guys come along with me let's explore so as a capture one a capture one makes my workflow easier for me when it comes to shooting that is tethering and showing my images in real time and also the post-production process which is uh, the editing part of the whole process yeah it makes it so easier for me i've been using capture one for a while now and this update is actually the beginning of something big so guys shortly i will take you into capture one for us to start today's tutorial session so we are inside capture one and um i have some images selected here for today's tutorial you know ai is fast growing and as a creative um the best way for you to have um these ai tools incorporated into your workflow is to actually have them in your ass now test them out and know how best you can incorporate them to help your workflow make you work more efficient and faster so I have these images right here, which I'm going to use for today's tutorial. Um, the model is Jessica. I shot this image somewhere around last year against the crimson red vintage canvas backdrop, as you can see. And this amazing beat was done by Pat Farm Glamour. If you are looking at um, getting a pro makeup artist for your project and your client work, you can hit her up and book her for her services so this canvas backdrop was from vintage backdrops so guys you can check them out on instagram and get a canvas backdrop today for your shoots so i have this image selected which i'm going to start today's tutorial session with i will create a new field adjustment layer i have a pack of um, preset styles that i'll be releasing very soon so i'll apply the very first one I have the anchor signature style headshot one so here is it um here's where the image started from and here is where we are now so here's the before here's the after here's the before here's the after yeah so what i'll do right now is i will increase the shadows a bit and yeah i think the look is okay for me now so i'll zoom into the image and as you can see there are some blemishes on the on the subject skin so what i'll do is i will move straight into the retouch tab which is the latest to being added to capture one um recent update so if you don't have this um so if you don't have this feature it means you are using an older version of capture one so quickly move on to their website and download the latest version they have a trial version which you can test out to um, see how it works. So I'm moving to the retail tab. And inside that we have this um, drop down menu, which is the retouch faces. When I open that, I can see an orange box right here. I see an orange box right here. And inside the orange box is the face of my subject. Which is being shown there so under that we have show detected faces 
and we have the impact blemishes slider dark circle slider even skin even skin the even skin drop down which is um, the amount and the texture of how you want to even your skin and we also have the contouring yeah so right over here right here the impact slider is basically opacity yeah it's how intense your adjustment will affect your subject so when i check this one right now you can see there is um, a box right around the face of my subject which is actually being detected by the software's artificial intelligence yeah so that is it when i uncheck it you can see it goes back so with this new tool what it does is it only retouches or applies to the faces of your subject only applies to the face of your subject so i will quickly slide the blemishes slider to the very far right 200 percent and i'm sure you saw the change happening right there if i turn it off you can see the blemishes coming back and once i turn it on there are some blemishes being removed i think it has done a very decent job but um, look from the look of things i would want to also get rid of some minor minor blemishes which i can see that the retouch you actually didn't do so i can see some tiny blemishes right here uh, and somewhere here i would want to get rid of some of these um, blemishes but i would say it has done a very decent job if you want to further remove blemishes you can either use the draw healing max 2 or the draw cloning max 2 but for the purpose of this tutorial i wouldn't go much in depth about this so quickly let's move into the very next option we have right now which is a dark circle so i'll also for us to see the impact or how these adjustments are going to affect my subject i will slide it all the way to the right side and see how it affects my subject so as you can see, there are some uh, dark circles right here, which has been adjusted. So as you can see before, after. Before. So as you can see, dark circle, dark circles. And after. I think it has also done a very decent job right here. So after applying this um, blemish and dark circle adjustment, this is what we are having. From here, we are currently here. Yeah. So I'll move on to the very next one we have, which is the Indian skin. We have the amount, the texture, and the contouring. So the amount will be the intensity of how even i would want my skin to be i'll slide it all the way to the right to 100 percent so with that this is what we are having now from here to here from here to here i think this feature is really going to put these other editing software companies on their tools and i'm sure they are also going to introduce it into their editing softwares yeah it's really doing a pretty decent um, job right here and you would also want to add some textures or reduce some textures when i move it far left it reduces the textures and it looks more smoother than as it was in the middle or as it was at zero and when i move it to the far right you can see um, it's making the textures more conspicuous so I'll keep it at zero for now. And I'll move the slider, the contrary slider to the very far right. So as you can see before applying the contouring to it and after applying the contouring to it. Before and after you can see over here, over here, uh, the cheek area and around the chin area too. Before, after. Charlie, this is really a game changer and I think 
this is just the beginning it's going to get better and better so if you are pretty watching this video or you've chanced on this content and you are not using any ai tool in your workflow it's advisable you start doing now ai is not going to replace us creatives but it's going to replace creatives that are not using ai it will make your work easier and the more ai is getting better the more creatives are able to deliver to clients on time and yeah more efficient so the contouring is basically um dodging and burning your image so as you can see before after before after i think that's done a decent job overall this is where we took our image from let me zoom in a bit this is where we took our image from to here from here to here from here to here you can see it targeted most of the blemishes on the forehead area and somewhere here and also here too but i can see some of the blemishes wearing really um, touched yeah and just as i said ai will keep getting better and better so the earlier you start using them the better so that's what we have here's what we have from here we took it to here from here we took it to here so as you can see um it didn't really affect the other parts of the subject skin and i'm sure as time goes by with a new update they bring um it will also target other parts of our subject or other parts of our images but for now it's only affecting the face since it can only detect the face yeah so i will copy this adjustment from this particular image and i'll apply it to this one and see how it turns out yeah so guys just as you can see that's really done a pretty decent job and i think there's a game changer and uh, that is really uh, going to take photography to the next level other ai softwares for editing also do pretty decent work but with that one for example evoto evoto has multiple options in there you can change the uh, lip size eye size there are so many options in there that you can change but for now catch one is only showing us um we can do a bit of retouching on our subject's face right here in capture one so kudos to the capture one team for this amazing update i really enjoy it for this video ends i will share my honest review of using this new updated version of capture one so guys yeah and just as i said it doesn't really it only looked at the blemishes it didn't really touch the hair so if you are imagine working on a campaign that you would have to do intense um, retouching on your image you can't solely rely on um, this new tool to actually get you to where you are looking at getting but i think it's pretty decent if you are looking at um, delivering a standard um, retouch email to a client which is not really demanding like that it's really pretty decent let me also apply it to let me copy this adjustment and apply it to this one okay let me zoom in a bit okay guys this is really cool like it amazes me every time i see the possibilities that we can get out of our editing software as ai advances day by day guys this is really amazing it only gets better let me try it on this image as well
Wow. Guys, it really amazes me. It really amazes me. So, guys, let me know your honest opinion about this new feature Catron has already introduced into their latest update. Um, I've had this uh, new update for some time now, and my honest review about this update is it's really cool and as, as a photographer, it makes my workflow a bit easier for me. Um, I wouldn't have to necessarily go into Photoshop to actually retouch a, a standard image for a client who is not really expecting something really intensive. So yeah, um, I also tried it on a couple of images. I tried it on um, a group shot. So with a group shot, it doesn't really detect all the faces in the shot um it does only for a few maybe two or three but for the other faces it doesn't really detect it so i think that's the only downside of um, the new updates when it comes to um, applying it on a group shot and also i said earlier in the video i also tried it on a full body shot the only thing it does is it detects the face so for the other parts of the skin um doesn't really work on that as well but i'm sure as and when they update um, the software, we get a better version of, of what we used to previously use. So, Capture One, thanks for this incredible update. And as a creative, start using AI in your workflow. So, guys, I hope you found value out of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my channel to other creatives to also discover the wonderful and amazing stuff we do on this channel. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe again. And guys, on to the next channel. We will talk channel. Peace.